we've we've certainly seen some impact uh, here, just as everyone around the Lower Mainland probably has this season. This is more the result of stress year after year than than one specific event. Granted, we did have a, a pretty significant cold snap um, a bit later than we usually do this year. And a lot of plants had kind of already decided it was spring and were sort of waking up and had some tender growth on them. And and the cold temperatures had had a pretty drastic impact on on that plant material. It's not just this one cold event that has caused it. It's it's these long dry summers followed by cold wet winters, uh, and then and then you know a kind of unique event like the cold snap that we had is ends up being sort of the tipping point where we see a lot of the damage in the plants. This is uh, this is quite a shock and a little bit uh, a little bit on the sad side uh, because this is a Mahonia uh, charity is the is the name um, of the Oregon grape family um, and this is a hummingbird favorite so this is another one that we're shocked we didn't expect that to happen because the native plant the Oregon grape is okay this is very very sad and you can see on the ground all that's been lost. We're looking at hydrangeas and this is um, usually buds form on the growth from last year and it they're dead. It's right here. Um, there's a little bit happening down here that may come in but we won't get any flowers on this plant this year and it's so sad because this just adds so much color to the garden. Well we're gonna be very thoughtful about uh, any new plantings we do um, we're going to keep really good records of what we've just gone through because a lot of this is kind of the first for us in some of these plants. Um, and uh, add more natives to our, our gardens.